Hi friends, so I have a fun and exciting video for you today. I am opening up some Monster High dolls. So I got my hands on the six pack. I'm so excited, I found this at my local Walmart. This is the Monster High G3 Ghoul Spirit line and this has six of the Monster High dolls in it. This six pack originally retailed for I think about $129 or $139 but it's been going on sale more and more at Walmart and I've been seeing more and more packs of them so hopefully you will be able to find this in your Walmart as well but over the holidays just recently I think the lowest I just saw it for was $49. That is an amazing deal for six dolls. So we're gonna go through every single doll. We're gonna open it all up. Let's show the back of the box. Hopefully you don't get any glare over, well, yeah, still glare, but here we go. So we get Deuce, Claudine, Draculaura, Cleo, Frankie, and Torlai. We've got Torlai as a cheerleader, Frankie is cheering them on, Draculaura is a cheerleader, and then we've got Cleo cheering them on, Claudine is on the basketball team, and we have Deuce as another ghoul supporter. Here's the artwork on the front of the box. I love Draculaura, she's so cute. They look so adorable together. Let's get these ghouls out of the box. All right, I'm gonna start with Deuce. I'm gonna go from one side to the other. So here is Deuce, and he is a light green shade. I really like Deuce. I think he is a really cool guy, but he's not obviously my favorite. I'm not a huge fan of the Monsters. I do like them. I like to have some of them in my collection, but of course, the ghouls are my favorite. But Deuce here, he has molded snakes as his hair because he is a gorgon so half of his head is shaved and then these really cool molded snakes they look really cool i kind of wish that they were like different colors maybe so it looked like he had like some highlights in his hair maybe they'll do that with another doll um another version of deuce he's got like these black lines underneath his eyes and usually football players wear those but i guess he's just showing his school spirit so Deuce has green eyebrows, green eyes, green hair, green skin. It's all about the green with Deuce. But you know what? Snakes are other colors too. So it would be cool to see some different color variations in the future. As for his outfit, it is two pieces. He has this jersey right here with like this snake skin print on his sleeves. I really love the Monster High logo on this shirt because I'm loving the purple and the green together. That is like one of my favorite combos. Then he's got a pair of shorts on and then one leg is black and green striped. The other leg is this cool snake design right here. His top just Velcros in the back. And then for his shoes, he's got these really cool like creamy white colored tennis shoes with this snake on them and he has socks but they're molded to the shoes not the biggest fan of that i would like if he had you know fabric socks but you know sometimes you gotta cut costs somewhere especially in like a budget doll pack none of these dolls come with stands but they each come with one accessory and deuce comes with a face mask i love this i kind of want to put this on the other dolls maybe not deuce maybe i'll have deuce hold something else but i love the skullette like i want this mask for myself it's super cute just a black and white little skullette and i'll put it on deuce so you guys can see what it looks like so there's Deuce with his school spirit mask on and it just has an elastic in the back, really easy to slip on and off. Um, there's no rubber pieces or anything that you need to button or connect. So that's really, really convenient. And I think he's really cool. I really like him. But overall, I think that they did a really nice job with Deuce. I really like his face mold. I like the friendliness that he's got going on in his face. Um, I, I think he looks really good. I think that they did a really good job with him. So there's also these little glasses in the pack as well, and they were in between Claudine and Deuce. I'm thinking they're for Deuce, because since he's a Gorgon, you know, yeah, they're for Deuce. Because he's got to wear glasses, or else he's going to turn you to stone, right? So I like the glasses on Deuce. They're not my favorite Deuce glasses, but he needs, some, he needs glasses. Like, you can't have a Deuce without glasses. 
Okay, next up we have Claudine Wolf, who I'm so excited about. I love the new G3 Claudine. I think she's adorable. She's definitely different. She's definitely more youthful looking, but I think that she is just the sweetest. I love, 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 love her face. So let me give you a little close up here. Okay, so here is Claudine. She's so adorable. So I'll start from the top. She has two earrings in right here. This side she has little moon studs and then this side she has like a little hoop earring with the moon. I think it's so cute. I love moons as you can see. I have a moon tattoo. Then she's wearing this really cute little orange um, sweatband. It's made of fabric. Her hair is a mixture. Now there's a lot of people I've seen in reviews who are not big fans of the new Claudine hair. I'm just starting to learn about the differences in doll hair. I never really knew the differences, but apparently Claudine's is made from polypropylene, which is not the nicest material, and you can definitely feel it. Her hair does feel kind of dry. It definitely feels like since these are targeted towards children and she has such long gorgeous hair of course a little one is going to want to brush and play with her hair and the thing about that is i feel like it's going to get messed up really quickly with the other monster high dolls like the old g1s their most of their hair was made from saran which is just a more shiny smooth easy to work with hair but i may i'm, I'm probably going to end up giving her hair a wash I was watching zombie corn and he was showing how he manages the polypropylene hair so I'm gonna give it a shot too so that might come up in an upcoming video but as far as the rest of her goes let's look at her face look at her darling little face she's got brown eyebrows she has brown eyes she's got the cutest little nose and she has like an animal nose like a little werewolf nose which i love that they added that little touch to her then she's got these really pretty like hot pink lips and she also has little fangs i think she is just so sweet like i want all of the claudines every version i think she is adorable so for her outfit she has a two-piece outfit as well on the top of her sleeves here i really like this little touch that they added she has some orange fur which is super cute goes with the werewolf theme she has a purple monster high basketball jersey on with the number 13 love that she's got these cute little purple basketball shorts as well and on one leg we have the little skullet and then on the other we have the monster high logo for her accessory she has she's wearing a little bracelet cuff here and it's kind of just textured to replicate like fur I think then she, if you go down she's wearing this orange like knee brace and it's made of plastic and it, it can just pop on and off just like a little orange knee brace. I kind of like that little touch, you know. Her accessory is a little orange casket ball and it says Monster High. Then moving down, she's got some black socks, but they're actually kind of like leg warmers. They're not full socks, but they are made of fabric, which I do like. I wish that they had done this with Deuce and just given him some little white. If they're not going to do socks, at least, you know, some fabric leg warmers, I'd be okay with that. For her shoes, she has got these white basketball tennis shoes on and they have these orange accents. She's got the little moons on her shoes and then some orange laces. And what I really love about the G3 line is that these dolls are articulated. You can pose them in so many different ways. She's articulated in her shoulders, in her elbows, in her wrists. This right here, this, I love this feature. We've got articulation in the bust. What? Love it. Um, we also have, you know, you can bend her at the waist, then also her knees bend as well. So you can sit her, stand her, pose her, have her go like this, this. So I'm loving that. I love the, the articulation that they put in the extra little, like, this is my favorite. I, I love this. She is so cute. Okay, next up we have Cleo, and I love this Cleo too. I actually 
I don't, I mean, I can't say I love her more than G1. I love G1 so much, but I think that they did a really beautiful job with her sculpt for G3. I'm really, really liking this Cleo. I really like the sculpt and the makeup that they've chosen for the G3 Cleo. I, maybe I like her because she looks, she still kind of looks mature, like her face. She looks, she looks older. She doesn't look, you know, I feel like Claudine looks about 14. I feel like Cleo looks like 17, you know? I don't know. But let's go ahead and look over Cleo from the top. So she is wearing this little headband here. I don't know how I feel about this, but it is definitely ghoul spirit. So we have a skullet on this side, and then I think this is just the Monster High logo. Yeah, it's just like MH right here so this gold headband and it's made of plastic now for her hair i think her hair might also be i'm not sure oh it's a little tangly right there uh -oh. these dolls also don't come with brushes but that's fine because i have plenty of doll brushes um she has tinsel in her hair a lot of people i've seen are not fans of the tinsel i don't mind it honestly I don't, I don't mind it. I think it looks really nice. I like the gold against the blue. I love this blue, this dark blue shade because, you know, in G1 Cleo, she had, you know, dark brown black hair. I love the blue touch. I think it really goes with like the makeup that she's wearing with her, the coloring of her skin. Um, she's got this gorgeous tan skin. Oh my God, so pretty. Her earrings are really pretty. So she's got these little, are they like scarabs or something? Let me see. I don't know. They're just like little geometric shapes. I think they're nice. They're subtle. So for her face, she has black eyebrows. She has blue eyes. Her makeup is gorgeous it's gold i love the egyptian art that they put into this with the eye of horus her lips are a beautiful like burgundy shade and then i'm loving the gold paint on her lip i love it i think it is beautiful i really like that touch and again i think it just adds to the maturity of this cleo now for her outfit, it's not my favorite, but it's not bad and it's actually two pieces as well. She gets a jacket and a separate dress and they are separate pieces, they're not attached. So for her jacket here, we've got this really cool like hieroglyphic kind of print going on and it's like in a teal color. Um, her sleeves are a see-through mesh. We've got the white material and then it just says MH right here in gold. And then I'm gonna take her jacket off so you can see her without the jacket and you can see the dress. Okay, so here's her dress and it's like this holographic gold and it's only printed on the front. The back doesn't have the printing, but that's fine. Like I don't mind, she's, you know, a budget doll. She's from a pack. So I wasn't expecting, you know, like full on glamor. Her dress does say Monster High with a number 13 in hot pink. And then for her skin, it's really cool. She's kind of got like these like printed wraps on her left hand here. It's like she has her mummy wraps here and then also on her left leg here as well. She has like the printed. Now I really love Cleo. Her body type is a little curvier than the G1 Cleo, which I love. I'm loving it so much. And again, looks a little more mature to me. So, so here are Cleo's shoes. She's wearing like these gold wrap shoes and I really like them because she's not wearing sneakers. They're, you know, most of these dolls are wearing sneakers because they're on the sports teams, but since she is a supporter, she doesn't have to wear sneakers and I love that for Cleo because Cleo usually would not wear sneakers. There are these really cool gold wedges with the pretty teal little toe in the front. I love the bottom of her shoes because it's like they have the scarab on them. I love that little detail. I kind of wish that she had a ring or something, but she's got earrings, so there's that. Claudine, oh, Claudine had earrings too, but I forget her ears are up here. So there's Cleo holding her little flag. I think that's super cute. I really like the flag. Not a huge fan of the headband, but really do like the flag. I think it's cute. Okay, next up is fan favorite and my favorite, Draculaura. I am obsessed. Like, ob 
obsessed with her. I'm obsessed with all of the new G3 Draculauras. I have two so far. I have the Draculaura with the Gorgonizer that I reviewed on my channel if you haven't checked out that video. I also have her up. So she is my second Draculaura and she is just precious. I love what they have done with Draculaura. So they've made Draculaura petite and curvy, which I absolutely adore. I think she's so, so, so precious. So let's start from the top here. So she has this cute little bat wing bow in her hair that's hot pink. It's made of plastic. Her hair is made of saran, which is the what they've always used for Draculaura's hair. So it feels really good. I mean, I think I will end up washing these and restyling them since I've been watching so many of the videos lately and I'm kind of getting an idea on how to do it. I definitely want to restyle her hair, I think. She'll either go back up in a pony or I might give her pigtails. But either way, she is so precious. So for her face, she has her signature pink and black hair here, and it's not a split dye, it's actually a mixture of the pink and the black. She has these really cute little V bangs, which I think really suit her well. They're very, very much vampire bangs to me. I kind of get like that old pinup y look, but also, you know, with that modern edge, super cute. She has her signature light pink skin, and then for her makeup, I just think it's so pretty. So for her makeup, she has her signature pink eye makeup here. We've got these cute little hot pink lips with her little fangs coming out. And then her little heart birthmark right here, and I love that. I like that they didn't take that little part away from her. I love this new addition though, her little pointed ears. I think that this is such a cute touch. They, I wish they had done this on G1. I love her ears. They really make her look more like a vampire to me. Now for her outfit, she's wearing, um, her outfit is a one piece little cheerleader outfit. It's kind of made of like, not a cotton, but like more of like a polyester material. Uh, it's fine, it's not super thick, but it's not super thin either. And we have the Monster High logo on her chest. It's a black and pink uniform, of course. So we've got the black drips going on on the bust and then also on the waist here with this little um, black and white stripe kind of separating the two but it's not two pieces it is just one dress and then we've got her little cheerleader pleated skirt in a hot pink we have the white and black stripe here with more little drippies and then this little light pink down here which is super cute she comes with pom-poms now these accessory not my favorite it definitely looks like you know what it reminds me of is old mcdonald's toys when they used to have like french fries it looks like pink french fries they're made of plastic i would have liked if they had like fabric little pom-poms i think that would be really cute but they stay on really well on her hands so that is good for her shoes she is wearing little sneakers because she is a cheerleader and i think these are cute i would i would totally wear these sneakers <laughs> It's funny because like a lot of what Dracula Laura wears, I'm like, yeah, I would wear that. So little white sneakers, pink laces, her little signature heart. Again, the socks are molded. They are not fabric. I would have liked some fabric socks. And then we've got um, these little black accents. So for her body type, again, she is shorter in stature. So I'll put her next to Cleo so that you can see the difference. Put your arm down, Draculaura, put your arm down. Okay, so let me put these girls next to each other so you can see. Side by side, she's so tiny. I love it, I definitely relate to Draculaura because I was always the shortest in my class. I was always a little curvy short girl in high school and I don't know, I just, I love everything about her. I think she's just perfect. Okay, next up we have Frankie Stein and they are really cute, but I'm gonna be honest, when I first saw the new G3 dolls and I saw Frankie, they were not my favorite ghoul. And Frankie's never been my favorite even from G1, but I do still love her. She's just never, she's not on my top, you know? Draculaura was like, and Gulia were my top. but. Now that I've seen them in person, I actually really like them a whole lot more. 
I love what they did with the makeup here. Uh, Frankie still has heterochromia, so they have one green eye and one blue eye. I'm really liking this lightning bolts kind of like neon blush moment going on. It's very 80s, but I do really like it. Um, Frankie now has blue skin instead of green skin. So in G1, G2, Frankie always had green skin. So they've changed it to blue, which I don't mind. I think that they look really nice with the blue skin. But the thing that I'm not a fan of on this doll is the hair. They have one of one side of their head is shaved. And that's fine. I don't mind that at all. But and it's a lavender color, but it's it's just molded plastic and I wish that th they had flocked that side of Frankie's head. I think it would have just added a little bit more to her to them. Frankie has really nice hair. It's saran, so it's really manageable. It's really silky. It's really soft. Black and white. And then now the new Frankies have like a little hint of blue in their hair, which is really cute. I actually really like that little touch. I love, love, love the lip color. Like this is the type of lip color that I wear all the time, so I'm obsessed. So Frankie's outfit is a two-piece outfit as well. So they have this spirit jersey going on and then they also are wearing this cute little pleated skirt. So for the jersey, it's a few different colors. We've got purple sleeves with little black stripes. We have this little white striped collar up here. The top is the blue. It's like the same shade as her hair, which is really cute. And it has little lightning bolts all over it, of course, for Frankie. Um, we've got her jersey says Monster and has the Monster High logo on it. And then for their skirt, I apologize if I keep saying she, if I'm mixing it in there, I'm, I'm really trying to respect their they them pronouns so so they have on this black pleated skirt which I really like I like that it has like this lime green little hint on the bottom I think that's really cute and it ties in to the green in the jersey really well so I think that's super adorable and then the signature thing this I love this little touch that they've added to the new Frankies is Frankie since they are made up of multiple different body parts, now has a prosthetic leg. I love the inclusion. I absolutely love it. So the prosthetic leg is super cute. It's signed by Frankie. And then on this leg, we've got some of their stitches. And then up on the thigh as well, some stitches. For the shoes, mm, they're okay. They're kind of cool. They're definitely modern kids wear these types of shoes now you know, i like the lightning bolts that are like on the bottom let me try and focus it's trying to my camera's trying to focus on my face i don't don't look at me camera so you can see like the lightning bolt detail down at the bottom of the sole of the shoe what's on the bottom of the shoe do we have anything cool down here the bottom of the shoe has a lightning bolt of course I like that you can see her feet through the shoe. I think that's a really neat touch, but I don't know. I mean, they're not my favorite. Like when it comes to Monster High shoes, like, I mean, let's be honest. There are some great shoes out there. Because Frankie's at a sporting event, I will, I will let it go. Frankie comes with an accessory and this is like a foam finger, but it's made out of plastic. I love that it's like a monster finger with like a long claw that is hilarious um and then it you know it just has the monster high logo on it it's black with some blue and silver detail frankie has definitely grown on me though and now that i've seen them in person i am a fan okay i am but in the pictures for for some reason they just don't come across as great as they are i think that they did a really nice job Okay, and now last but not least, we have Toralei, and I'm a really big fan of this Toralei. And I think that the new G3 versions of Toralei are really cute. I love that she looks just more kitty-like, and I love the long hair on Toralei, but I also love her short little bobs, so I would love for them to come back with a new doll that has her cute little signature bob, because. I'm, I'm here for a bob. But her hair, I believe, is also made from the same material as Claudine's, which is the polypropylene, which will end up getting really messy. So that will be an issue for little ones. So I wish that they had 
used a different hair type with the longer hair dolls you know especially since kids are going to be playing with these because like if you look like her hair already looks tangly just like out of the box like on the bottom it's just it feels like puffy and kind of just like tangly i think she's definitely going to get a wash as well but let's start from the top with her look at her face i love it i'm obsessed oh my god so she's got her cute kitty ears and she's got two earrings up here a black and a gold hoop and then another little gold hoop on this ear i love the little top knot bun i'm loving the orange and the pink hair either you love it or you hate it but i'm a big fan of maybe i like torlai so much because i'm a redhead so we're copper girls okay I feel like this is her natural hair color, this orange, and she's dyed the rest of her hair pink. And I actually had my hair like this a year ago, not totally like this, but I had my copper hair and then I had like this shade, that shade of pink in the front and I think it's super cute together. I love her little, you know, kitty cat printing right up here on her face. Her face is gorgeous and I really like her as well because I feel like she looks a little more mature as well. I don't know what it is that makes her look so much more, like I feel like Claudine looks very youthful. I feel like Torlai looks a little bit older. Like I feel like Torlai and Cleo look like seniors, junior seniors, maybe junior senior and freshmen freshman maybe frankie's like a sophomore <laughs> and then deuce i mean deuce deuce could be anything yeah deuce could be freshman too i feel like he's more like a junior like 11th grade whoa i love torlai's eyebrow she's got like this brown eyebrow it's like a nice fluffy styled brow her makeup is really really pretty she has like pink on the upper lid and then this really pretty green on the lower lid she has a little freckle right there and then you know i love the animal nose i love how they did that with her too i think it's super adorable i love her hot pink lips so she's wearing this little collar and I love it because it like looks like it has like a little bell on it. Like a tabby cat. That is so cute. So for her outfit, uh, Torlai is also a cheerleader but she has a two piece outfit. So she has the top which is red and pink and black with the Monster High logo. And it looks like she, she wanted a crop top and she just took her claws and just ripped it. And then for her skirt, she has the red on the top with these little claw marks. And then the bottom's more like kind of like how Draculaura's was with the pink and the white striping down here, which is super cute. I love the incorporation. I love red, orange, and pink together. Um, you either like it or you don't, and I really like it. So I think it's super cute. Her skin, you can see here, it looks like it's like molded fur a little bit which is kind of neat. And then she's got like pointy nails, but I wish that they would add some like actual nails to these girls because like I've been seeing it with the, the rainbow high and the shadow high and a few other dolls that have come out are, are starting to add like fake nails. So I think it would be really cool if Monster High would at least paint their nails, would be really nice for her socks. Now, I'm not a fan, I don't know why they chose yellow socks. Like, I feel like they don't really go with the rest of the outfit. This color just does not go with this to me. And they're not full socks. Again, she's got like a leg warmer type of sock. You can see she's got her tabby markings on her legs too. She's wearing these really athletic little um, white and like a corally orangey red colored sneaker. Then the bottom of her shoes, it looks like they're, they're claw marks on the bottom of her shoes. She has a tail. Torlai has a tail. And this tail, it's not falling off, which is great. But I don't know if it's a permanent tail, if you can take it off. I don't know. I don't want to break her. I'll, I'll Google it. But um, yeah, let me know in the comments. Can you take her tail out? I'm afraid I'll break it probably not I don't know but she does have a tail I do like that it stays on because with G1 Toralize the tails fell off all the time so 
they made sure to fix that little mistake with the G3 dolls. And then for Toralai's accessory, she comes with a little cheerleader megaphone. And it's just like this pretty purpley blue color and it says Monster High in like a lime highlighter yellow color. Okay, so there are all the dolls lined up so you can see them out of the box. Again, they don't come with stands, so these are my own stands that I actually ordered from Amazon. I'll have the link down below if you want to get some for yourself. They fit Monster High dolls really well. I think it was $7 for 10 stands, and they're just clear plastic doll stands. That is an affiliate link if you are going to use it, just to let you know. But overall, I love this. G3. I love these dolls. I'm so happy with them. I'm so excited to see what else Monster High has in store for us in 2023. And if you find these dolls in store, I would definitely grab them, especially if they're on sale, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.